Hello everyone, this is Mira Kelly. Welcome to this episode of Beyond Past Lives. Fall is upon us and trees are changing color all around me. And there's something very symbolic about the leaves of trees falling off, separating from their branches and falling off. And I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to talk to you about change. You see, we're so often afraid of change. We're holding on to what we know for dear life. We don't want things to change. We don't want to have to adjust to new things. We think that it's all right for things to be just about right, just about good, not great, but okay. We're settling with things being okay in our relationships, in our friendships, in our careers, in our jobs, because truth be told, change is a scary thing, or is it? Because we are thinking that change needs to be painful. And indeed, change can bring you and push you in places that you've never been before and naturally that will create discomfort because you have never been that you before. You have never been that you in that reality, in that version of who you could become. So of course there's a sense of unknown and of course there's a sense of, can I do this? But also, there is the other side of this issue. When we resist change, we're really allowing for stagnation. We're sitting in place, we're refusing growth, and because our higher self is always wanting to move us in new directions, bring us to new places, naturally our higher self is looking to express and always grow and always learn. And when in our effort of us wanting to stay safe, wanting to not be bothered, you know, wanting to not face up to new challenges, we resist that. We resist our growth. So guess what our, our higher self does? They create illnesses for us. They create the ends of relationships. They create disasters, be it physical, be it emotional. Really that sense of change. And I'm here to tell you that you don't need to go through any painful changes as long as you allow for the shift in perspective, as long as you allow yourself to always flow and grow and expand in new ways. Because when you resist, you're really building up that energy of growth like a dam, the, the energy being built up, wanting to expand, wanting to expand, but you're resisting and resisting and resisting. So naturally, there is a, a, always that big explosion and everything goes flying all over the place. So I want to encourage you to start thinking of change as the way the Greek philosopher talks about it. There is a Greek philosopher who says that change is the only constant. I really love this saying. It's actually one of my most favorite sayings. So if you think of change as the only constant, you will really find yourself in a wonderful new place where change feels natural. It feels, well, maybe not necessarily comfortable at first, but at least desirable because you know that through change you're going to grow, you're going to experience, you're actually going to allow for the fulfillment of your soul purpose. I cannot even begin to tell you how many people come to me with the question of what is my soul purpose? And because we resist, we're not really listening, we're not really following what is given by our higher self, of course we don't know what our soul purpose is and of course we seek for answers all over the place even when the answers are so clear all around us. So I really hope that by listening to this message, you will start thinking of change as a very natural process, as something that is a natural cycle, just like the fall is a natural cycle, a natural part of the cycle of, of seasons. I want to tell you about two things that are going on, that are about to start in my life right now. I have signed up for two classes. I'm going to be studying to become a Kundalini yoga, yoga teacher. And I'm also going to 
and Ro, I'm also going to take a out-of-body experience workshop. Now, I have to tell you, when I came up with these ideas, when the opportunities came up, in that very moment, they felt very exciting. I'm not planning on opening a Kundalini Yoga studio, yet there is something within it, something about the breath, movement, and expression of energy through the physical body that really seems very exciting to me. I'm about to start my teacher training here in New York City in the Golden Bridge Yoga Studio in, in Manhattan within a few days. And honestly, yesterday I thought to myself, Mira, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Why are you even doing this to yourself? Because this class requires a six-month uh, commitment, something that, you know, I don't know how and where it's going to take me down the path, yet my spirit is so loudly and clearly saying, there's something for you here, go and explore. It's very much the same with my out-of-body experience workshop. I, I was very excited when I signed up for the workshop a couple of months ago, and yesterday I was thinking to myself, Mira, what are you thinking? What were you thinking? First, it requires a whole lot of money to take this workshop. Then, it's a whole week of your life. And then, why are you still pushing the envelope? Isn't doing a past life regression enough? Why do you need to actually leave your body and have experiences out of your body? And yet, again, there's something there. I'm not sure what that is. I'll discover it only once I make that leap of faith, only once I allow, only once I allow for that change in my life. So I hope to be sharing very soon how these new uh, opportunities are playing in my life with you. But till then, I really want to leave you with this message. Think of change as an exciting opportunity for you to grow, surrender, allow for new things to come your way, even when you don't know why you're doing them. I'm sending you all my love and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.